So, to be completely honest with you guys, I haven't been super truthful lately. Um, Alright, what is up guys? So, today we're doing a QA. and a I threw up a poll on my Instagram for two days in a row for you guys to put questions up. And then I did one on my Snapchat. Um, I did like the little yellow thing, but only like two people responded to that. Well, one of them is not even a question, so there's only one question from that. But... <laughs> What, Colin? You have something to say? <laughs> okay. So we have like 13 questions to go through. Colin will answer on a few of them, but not all of them. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to start with the first one, and we're going to pop them up on the screen for you guys so you guys can see. So first one says, what do you do for recovery? Um, not like specifying it, but like right after the gym... I drink my aminos intro workout for my recovery, so then I don't drink them after. But I always have my post workout meal within 30 minutes after working out because there's a little window where your muscles are open long enough to intake nutrients and food. Um, but yeah, just I use BCAs. You can get them from any supplement shop. But like I said, I take them intro workout. I don't take them after. I used to take them after, but I feel like they're more beneficial intra. But recovery wise, like. For my body, I do all my mobility work, so I foam roll. I use these little AccuPoint massage balls, and then I also go and get cupping done um, at a local place, or not a local place, but this guy that does it locally. His Instagram I'll put in the description below. It's Bomb Therapy, so if you guys are ever in Reno, or if you are here, then go get your stuff done by him because he's really good. Second question is, what would you change about yourself if you could? Um, I overthink a lot. I hate overthinking. It gets really annoying sometimes that I do it. I do it a lot too when I'm in prep, which is not good because overthinking in general is just bad. And someone asked, well, I know who this is. He goes to my gym. Does hitting legs get you laid? <laughs> well... Um, I mean, I don't think any girl wants some dude with toothpick legs, so yeah, Chris, you should probably start hitting legs like twice a week to get them up. <laughs> Colin, you want to uh, chime in on this? <laughs> you want to come over here and get the camera right. for a second? All right. Because we both know Chris. Here's Colin. We know Chris. What's up? Let me get the camera a little bit. Does hitting Ooh. legs get you laid? Laid. Lead? Lit. I Does can't. Legs get you lit? I can't read. Um, yes. Women like a well-rounded physique. If she doesn't care that you have stick legs, well, go ahead, keep her. That's a rare one. I feel like I'm just like jabbing at Chris. Now. I'm sorry, Chris. Chris, you're <laughs> a beautiful human being. Yes, you're beautiful. But yeah, you probably should do legs more. Anyways, okay. Next question: Are you looking for a girlfriend? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not really like, I don't like look, like I'm not like, oh, I'm going to go date this person, because I've been in a couple relationships, but now I'm at the point where it's like, if something happens, it happens, but I'm not going to go out of my way to try and find someone, because that's when shit kind of hits the fan, and it's not good, per se, but yeah, so I'm not looking, if it happens, it happens, but I'm not going to force anything. Okay, this one I'm crossing the name out because I don't want you guys to see who it is. But <laughs> this one guy, it's not a girl, it's a dude. He said, what steroids do you use? I'm thinking about hopping on a cycle, dot, dot, dot. Um, so, to be completely honest with you guys, I haven't been super truthful lately. Um... Yeah, I don't take fucking steroids. I don't take anything at all. So, I actually don't know what you should take, because I've never taken anything. I just say, be smart, do your research, don't go into it blind. Um, don't get dirty stuff, because, or fake stuff, because that's when things don't work. I don't know, though. Like I said, because I don't take anything, so I don't know what to tell you. Just do your research. Don't be stupid. This person said... Next question. 
If you could have lunch with anyone dead or alive, who would it be and why? I'm going to answer this two parts, one being dead, one being alive. Uh, the one being dead, I actually really wanted to re... re <laughs> I wanted to meet Rich Piana just because he was the one who kind of put the spotlight on bodybuilding about how everyone's taking stuff, everyone's on steroids... He was like the first one, he kind of made it non-taboo, because before he talked about it, it was like pretty taboo in the industry, but he was one of the realest people in the industry, it was super sad to see him go early, um, but yeah, I would want to have lunch with him, the one person being dead, and then alive, um, that's a tough one, I don't know, alive, I would say either Arnold, Schwarzenegger or Chris Bumstead because those are my two favorite bodybuilders um, just because Arnold's been around a long time he was in the bodybuilding world he still like catches up with it but he's in the bodybuilding world forever and then Chris is my favorite modern day um, bodybuilder and yeah I'd have lunch with him because they both know a lot of stuff uh, next question what are your max lifts so I don't do really one reps. I don't like one rep maxing. I think it's stupid. I don't think there's any point in it. I mean, I'm not meaning that in a mean way. Like, if you want to see what you can hit for one rep, go ahead. It's That's powerlifting, which is completely fine. But I usually do reps for maxes. But my top for squat is 500 for two. Um, deadlift. Uh, I haven't gone above 405. I've done 405 for 13. And then bench, I don't really do barbell. I do a lot of dumbbell, but I did hit 315 for one. I know I said I don't hit reps for one, but I couldn't hit it for two, okay? But I hit 295 for three or four. So, yeah, there you go. Next question, have you ever had a secret admirer? Uh, do they mean, like, I, me having one? Like, I secretly admired someone else? Probably someone... Someone liking secretly admiring someone me? someone liking you? Like that I didn't know about. Because what, are you, they're asking you to tell the world who Listen, you have are. you ever had a secret admirer? Oh, like, have I had one like someone... Yeah, like someone is admiring you? Yeah, like stalking yeah. me? Yeah. I don't, think I don't think they would ask you. What are you going to do? I oh, don't, yeah, it was this person. I don't think I so. Saying. No one's come out to say that. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Next question. Next question. What is your favorite family holiday tradition? Uh, we don't actually have a lot. We still we stick pretty much to the basics. Um, we always open one gift on Christmas Eve, which I think is pretty fun because I like to see everyone open their stuff. Because I like to give more than like receive stuff on Christmas. Uh, next one is if I'm only going to the gym three to four times a week, would full body workouts be best? Absolutely not. If you're going to the gym more than like three or more days a week, you don't need to do full body. If you're going like two days, like say you do like a Monday and a Friday or like a Monday and a Thursday, sure. But if you're going three to four times a week, you can find a split that works. Um, if you go three days, do push, rest, pull, rest, and then legs rest. So day on, day off, day on, day off. But if you're doing like four times a week, same thing. Just do like a push-pull leg day. Um, yeah, I don't recommend doing full body because you're going to be too sore in some areas. Unless you, If you're two days or under, do full body. If you're over two days, if you're th three and up, don't do full body. That's where you can go to me for online coaching or my plans because I can help you guys out. Um... Next question is, aside from necessities, what's one thing What's one thing you could not go a day without? Eating protein. Uh, and then final question is, what is one thing you will never do again? Uh, wow. Hmm. I don't know. Hang out with people that aren't positively influencing yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, Oh, really? No, that actually made, like sparked my mind. I was trying okay, to think of the words okay. to say. 
And I was saying, like, don't stay around unsupportive yeah, people. because I used to hang around a group of people that weren't really supportive, and I'm happy I broke that off. And now whenever I see people like that, I don't even go near them. Yeah. Same with Colin. There you go. That actually wasn't the last question. There's one more. Thoughts on relationship with a coworker? <laughs> that, uh, this is my thing. Date who you want to date, but if it's a coworker and you guys break up, that's going to be really fucking awkward. That's gonna be weird to see each other at like yeah, each if you day. Like, if you like your coworker, go for it. But just know that if that doesn't work out and you both still work there, things may be a little weird. Thanks, Colin, for your input. Yeah, you will appreciate it. You're welcome. I'll be over here. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's everything, you guys. Um, thank you for watching. It was a short Q and A. If you guys want to see more of these, let me know. Uh, we can do like specific topics. Like it can be fitness related. It can be. I don't know day-to-day -day life related it can be anything bodybuilding related um so yeah if you guys like it just let me know in the comments tell me you want to see more of this if you don't like it i'm sorry but i'm pretty sure you guys will but uh colin you got anything to say he's just editing he's just over here editing i'm just minding my business see? whoa whoa oh wait whoa. you guys can't see that's confidential we're watching whoa. chris right now Buddy, look at it, it's Chris Bumstead. I'm, I'm just watching YouTube. Yeah. All right, Colin, you got anything to say before we cut it off? <sighs> just the usual. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. If you guys haven't already, you guys are actual imbeciles, and you I don't are, know what the are. hell you're doing know, watching my who channel. Who watches a YouTube video yeah. and doesn't doesn't log in no, okay. just to hit the like button and subscribe button? If like, you guys watch, watch this, look, yeah, look, if you guys look, haven't look, okay, look, look how easy it is. Watching Chris. Right? I'm already subscribed, so he's I can't all, subscribe. He's already subscribed. Yes, ready, ready. Oh yeah, I like this video. I like this video. Oh, wow, one click. Look how easy that is, you guys. So again, if you haven't done it already, you're an idiot for one. <laughs> okay, well, they're two. not idiots. They're not no, idiots. you guys aren't idiots. You're kind of lazy though. It's kinda, yeah. You're not. Kind of lazy and being kind of rude. It's gonna make me cry. If you guys don't subscribe or like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. But when we get to 100 subs, we got a giveaway coming. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is until we hit 100. I'll do a giveaway at 100, and then I'll do a giveaway at 1,000. And then after that, I'll probably do like 5,000, 10,000, all that stuff. 100,000. 100,000, 500,000, a million. That's a lot. It's yeah. coming, guys. So, yeah. Colin? I'm just going to keep editing now. Do you want to give them a special goodbye? Uh... <laughs> <laughs>